As I watch the news and ponder my own life, the question arose yesterday. If I do not expect perfection in my own life, why would I expect it in a video game? The answer is I don't. The next thing that came to the surface was, do I expect too much from AAA titles? And is failure of some launches of AAA titles something that is okay? When I'm on my phone and I download a free-to-play game, I have limited expectations. Since my investment is zero, the quality of the game has yet to be accessed. As I begin to play the game, I assess its value in the quality of the game and its true value in how it engages me and whether that translates into me spending money in the microtransaction system. Some games in the genre are awesome, while most fail for me personally, but are still appraised at the correct value. Since there is no upfront investment, the value of the game is subjective in the same manner as the quality of the game is subjective. This leads to some games from my subjective perspective that I think are poor quality to be of high value to others and the exchange of money is proportional because the transactions are fair and transparent. Moving to the larger concept of console and PC games, specifically AAA titles and their difference in the upfront cost. Now the value of the game is stated in this instance at the start. The price of the game is clear. Unless the publisher or creator has been misleading in the nature of the content of the game or in the presence and or volume of in-game purchases, the quality is what is now being reviewed. If the content of the game is simply not to the liking of the reviewer, I would deem that subjective. If in turn the quality of the game is poor due to bad programming, poor game mechanics, system integration issues, deceptive microtransaction structures, a large absence of content that was advertised, and other technical issues, this would be an objective perspective. I do not expect games to fail in quality. I also in turn expect some games to not appeal to me. That does not make the games that are unappealing a failure, it simply is a media product that I do not like. I think many people that are in the community of Fallout 76 and other contested titles have confused these two separate, albeit similar, points. The issue with a larger game like Anthem or Fallout 76 is that they are produced and marketed as a premium product. When they do not deliver on that promise they have attached to the price tag, there can be no margin allowed for subpar delivery. When Skyrim released, it was not perfect. It had its issues as always is the case with any video game. The overall product that was delivered during the Skyrim release was a completed, polished, and well-created game. It was exactly what it was marketed to be, and players accepted the limited amount of bugs and enjoyed the game. Fast forward several years later, and the same company and publisher released Fallout 76 to a very similar group of players that had been blown away with Skyrim. Players could not have had a more different reaction to Fallout 76. With this simple side-by-side -side comparison that is as close to apples to apples as you can get clarifies the point that IP loyalty, branding, marketing, and a company's history will not make up for selling a poor quality or horrendously broken game to consumers. Circling back to my initial question, should we expect AAA games to potentially fail? And I have to say, yes. The track record of the industry is clear over the last decade. The introduction of the mobile game consumer has changed the developer-publisher relationship and the perspective of the market and what performance means. True gaming, in my opinion, will almost always take place on a device that has greater capabilities than a touchscreen interface. As a member of that community, I feel I owe it to myself to be select. I should not support games that are poor. I should not support developers that are poor. I should not support I should not support publishers with any degree of faith that have a track record for being less than honest. The fallout from the most recent Bethesda Game Studios release will make me wait to purchase the upcoming Elder Scrolls 6 until after launch and reviews can be released that give the honest picture. This is a sad realization to make after years of enjoying and trusting the works of Bethesda. I leave the question to you. Has your trust in developers and publishers been eroded? Thank you for stopping by. If you like this video, please hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you'd like to see more content, as always, I appreciate your comments below. Until next time.